Hello and welcome to another Dream Drop System video. Today's video is about communication trauma causing hatred of talking. We are a mid-support needs, multi-disabled, chronically ill, semi-speaking, semi-verbal system. We are only speaking for us. Now let's get started. We have communication trauma, a lot of it. We had verbal loss and dealt with mutism growing up, but it's not normal to hate and or feel fear and or guilt and or shame from speaking. We communicated written word at times using AACs before we knew what it was. We preferred to text and cried during phone calls. We had so, so much anxiety and fears around phone calls. We used communication boards and cards in our daydreams before knowing what AACs were. We wrote stuff down or had a binder that has words down and out. Host Shane would point at it what they'd want to say. System-wise, the system used that in the inner world too. We struggle with the feelings of guilt and pain. We deal with the, the struggle of wanting to cut out our tongue. These feelings started young. Ever since the body was a child, we hated speaking. We felt fear and guilt. We would be hyperverbal, then not able to talk for long time. We would hide when we couldn't speak. We would feel embarrassed when would be hyperverbal. We were yelled at and abused when we talked, and we were yelled and abused when we didn't talk. We aren't going to into it, but we have a lot of trauma based around communication with our parents, siblings, doctors, therapists, teachers, our special ED aides, family in general, strangers, etc., etc. More and more verbal loss growing up until we started going through autism regressions and became semi-verbal or uh, semi-speaking. It's a lot. We prefer nonverbal communication. We prefer not to speak, and that's okay. Most system members hate speaking. We have AACs, inner world, and headspace, daydreaming and stuff. We still feel the fear and guilt from communication trauma. So much trauma. It's too much. But now we have barrier that stops us from talking most times. This is frustrating as well. We are practicing using AAC around strangers. Anyone who didn't, a roommate, family, or provider, or support members. Talking is a complicated subject for us. We're doing our best. We lean on AAC as our main way to communicate. We would just say nothing at all, or force words them have a meltdown or shutdown after a boiling point. We want to continue using AACs in multiple ways. We want to try to learn ASL again. We have a bad memory, but we need to put effort in it. In our system, we have some modified sign language, but no one IRL would understand. We need to learn actual ASL. Anyway, you want to communicate is valid, verbally and non-verbally. That's the end of the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Our social media in our card link. Have a great day. Dream Drop System out.